Hello and welcome back everyone to Rocket Rabbit Commentaries and in this episode we will be doing another Magic the Gathering exploration and uh, this time we're doing the dual decks, Elves vs. Inventors, which was the last dual decks to come out Sweet. and that was like three years ago. This series might actually be, you know, dead, which is sad because, well, they keep releasing commander decks, but I'm like, I don't know if I want to actually do commander deck spotlights yet, you know. Elves versus Inventors. Alright, and because the Inventors is mostly the Kaladesh artifact package, I, and I ran that when we were exploring Kaladesh, Cloud is running the Inventors deck, and I am running the Elves. Yes. F quite a formidable matchup. And uh, I trust that Gerdad also is just as blind to the, his opponent set as I am, because although I spent a lot of time going over Inventors, I didn't actually go over the Elves all that much. <laughs> I didn't spend all that much time looking at the Inventor's deck list, but I know that you've got uh, some really big artifacts, specifically Mere Battle Sphere. That's scary. Yes, but, um, the scary sphere, exactly. But uh, that's the only real big thing that I, that, I, that I know that you've got. All right, so shall we begin? Yes. And now prepare for the elf ramp. Okay. Roll dice 20. Six versus 16. Damn. All right, so you'll go first? Yes. And let's see what my limited... Oh, God, I cannot got. keep this. All no. Right. I'm going to declare keep, and Gerdet has declared mulligan. Uh, I'll keep this. Draw, uh, <laughs> oh, draw, right. draw, draw, card, yes, draw a card, yep. and then decide if that's what you want. Yeah, I yeah I'll, I will be keeping this. I uh, need to figure out... Yeah, we'll, we'll put this at, at bottom. Brilliant. I will, uh, for my main phase... Put down a mountain, and I will end my turn. All right, then. So you There's mentioned that I am going to be doing the elf ramp, and, well, that is definitely the thing that I'm doing this turn. Dun, dun, Behold, dun, my dun, forest dun, dun, into dun, elvish dun, mystic. Dun, dun. And with that, I will end. Now, you're playing mono green, as I recall? Yeah, it's mono green. Brilliant. So that means that your consistency has a lot fewer problems than my set. My set not only has the problem of not having, you know, maybe enough non-basic lands to satisfy the two land requirement. I can't play anything. Um, but oh, I also shit. have only 20 land cards supplemented both by Searchers and, uh, what is it? So some other supplement. It escapes me right now. But 20 lands is running pretty low in my opinion. Mm, yeah. All right. I'm going to put down the Elvish Branch, uh, branch Bender. Branch Bender. Mm, all right. And with that, I will end. Dropping the threes. Yes. Playing spells ahead of the turn number that is lower than the converted mana cost. The Great Furnace. So I got not just one, but two artifact lands down. Now I'm deciding on... Ooh, yeah, that looks like a thing, definitely. That is definitely a thing. I will make a note of its thinginess. I think what I'm going to do, actually, is pay three in order to cast the Gyrapur Gear Crafter. Okay. When he enters the battlefield, he creates a 1-1. You one, get a one Thopter. Th I got a Thopter because I got lots of dudes that love Thopters. Everybody brings their own Thopter at my party, hey? Mm, okay. Um... Let me think here. Well, I'm definitely going to put down a Tranquil Thicket. And after that, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to tap uh, two for the Sylvan Advocate. Sylvan Advocate. Hmm. Ah, uh, no, I don't want to blow up my land. Creatures. All right, I'll end. That's not, that's, not a, that's not a key word you see a lot is land creatures. <laughs> Awakening anybody? Hmm. Okay. I'm going to pay two. Two, um... Is it, those are the correct two? No, actually, wait, no. Hold, hold on, hold on. That's not That's not quite the move that I wanted at that particular moment. Um... Oh, my God. So there's already synergy happening after you get three more land cards, I see. Okay. But you're not swinging at me. So I'm going to pay three to cast a Trophy Mage. All right. This cool creature, among its respective counterparts, lets me get an artifact type card that can also be a creature, but its converted mana cost must be three, and now I am faced You already with... have both your artifact lands, though, so it won't be ramp. 
Well, actually, it'll probably will be a rock. I'm going to choose the filigree familiar. That is a critter. That is not a rock. <laughs> and I see you don't have any flyers, so I'm going to fly into you for one. Um, That's true, and this doesn't uh, generate a reach, does it? No, it does not. All right, so I'll take one. And I will end my turn after taking the lead. Okay. Mm, ooh, that is nice, but unfortunately it's going to be a long time before I can get that out. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. hmm, do, do, do these come in as green? It doesn't act, no, they come in as colorless shit, fuck, ah, uh, alright, so I'm going to spend four, nice, in order to cast the Lana War Empath, which will allow me to scry two. It's about to fill a scry two, then reveal, then reveal the top card. If it's a bridge card, put it in your... Nice. Mm, all right, so I'm going to put... I'm going to actually keep these where they are, and then I will reveal the top card. Uh, Ezru's... Uh, uh, yes, uh, Ezru, Ezrui's Archers. Ezrui's. Ezrui's, thank you. And it goes to my hand because of Lanowar Impact. This creature with flying... Impact. Gets, yeah, damn it. Okay. All right, all right. So you got an answer to my flying now. Hmm. Not right. No, well, not right now, but in in time. Uh, with that, I think I'll end. Okay. Untap. So I kind of figured this would be a problem. Is that I di I did realize because of the Thopter mechanic that I was going to have a lot of land hits at you. I mean, not not land hits. Uh, flying hits. Feel agree familiar. Okay, you two, gain two life. Two life. I extend my lead, and uh, what are we going to do this time, boys and girls? Uh, I'm just going to swing at you for one. All right, I'll take one in the air. I now have a five-point lead. Okay. So, I'm going to put down another forest, and Shit. then... I actually have enough to do that, don't I? Yes. All right. So I'm going to tap my uh, Tranquil Thicket in order to cast the uh, Azuri's Archers. Sweet. And then I misplayed this horribly. I'm going to spend four mana in order to cast the Ivy Lane Denison. Um, oh, for, well, I mean, you could, you could change I the could, order. but I've already screwed it up. No. Anyway. Uh, with I, that, one of these days I'm going to overrule that game step. I'm going to throw the flag. I swear to God. But go on. <laughs> All right. And with that, uh, I'm going to end. I'm going to reach for my socks. That Um. Oh my goodness. Don't we have a bit of a situation here? Because I count. I'm looking at the physical distance that these cards occupy left or right, and yours extends a little bit longer. Um. My. Well, main you've phase, got more cards in your hand. Hmm. Well, that is a very important card right now, I will grant. Um, and now you have a creature with reach. You got it. You have a cre... It's hard to make a pun out of that. Um, let me think now. Ooh. Because yeah, I have one, two, yes. Uh-huh. Um, oh, boy. You know what? Fuck it. I got. I got life. I got life lead. I gotta start hammering you. Paying four for the reclusive artificer. Okay. He's a two-three with haste. When he enters the battlefield, you may have it deal damage to target creature equal to the number of artifacts I control. All right. That creature is gonna be your Azuri's archers. Okay, so it deals two, right? It actually yeah, deals two. four because I have two artifacts. Oh, right, because you've got the artifact lands as well. Okay. <laughs> <coughs> And then for my attacker step, I'm going to swing out. Okay. Swinging for two, three, five, seven, nine points, one in the air. All right. So I will block your gear for uh, gear crafter and your trophy mage. Okay. Arrow. With which cards? With these. Okay. Very cool. And because these cards have three toughness, they don't die. Trophy mage is dead. This guy is dead. So I take five? You take five points. One, two, one, two. Okay. Sweet. And then I'm going to end my turn. All right, then. While Gerdad has his vengeance on my completely open battlefield and bring this down to a one Oh, I will game. certainly have my vengeance. <laughs> All right. So 
Um, actually, I'll pay two in order to cast the Leaf Gilder. And then I will tap my uh, my Elvish Branch Bender. Oh, he needs more development. Uh, Pink. What is happening now? Uh, set. I am uh, turning one of my uh, untapped forests into a into a tree folk creature until the end of turn. One, two, three, four, five, six. It is a six six because I have six elves on the field. Uh huh. Mm, all right, and then I'm going to um I'm gonna swing at you for uh two, two, two. fourteen. Well, I could swing at you for 14. Oh, wait, no, but... 12, 12, 12 would be the maximum right now because Leaf Gilder has some right. sickness. Um, t- so you want to swing at me for 12 and bring me down to 11? Uh, no, I'm going to swing at you for 8, yeah. You're going to swing at me for 8 and then bring me down to 15. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So I still have the lead. <laughs> All right. And with that, um, I will end. All right. Mm-hmm. And then your big scary forest goes away. Uh, no, God. he is still tapped. Jesus Christ. <laughs> uh, um. The trees are angry. <laughs> okay. Um, so I see that I'm going to have to keep flying into you apparently because that is the only thing that's working you still don't have any flyers you you did have a reach um all right so i already drew my card Ooh. Hmm. Hmm, 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 hmm. that would be really cool right now wouldn't it however i do have other options especially killing you as quickly as possible while you're sitting on two cards in your hand and even if one of those cards is a land card, no, none of those cards are land cards. So you're Sylvan, you're not going to get your Sylvan Advocate off. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm not going to let you get that shit off. <laughs> ah, shit. I forgot to attack with Sylvan Advocate. He's got Vigilance. Damn it. Well, now. I think time is on my side. I'm going to pay two. I'm going to cast the Ethereum Sculptor. Okay. Uh, he is a one two that says artifact spells that I play cost one less to play. So that being the case, I'm going to pay one, and I'm going to put down the Icker Wellspring. Ooh. When there's a battlefield, or it's put in a graveyard, I draw a card. So I draw a card. Okay, granted. Um. So now I'm going to pay another one. To put down the Mycosynth Wellspring, ETB, okay. or put in Graveyard. Search my library for basic land card. I'm going to search out this basic mountain. I'm going to put this card in my hand. And then I'm going to put down a Swift Water Cliffs. And with Swift right. Water Cliffs and the battlefield, I gain a life. Going into the attacker step. <clears throat> I am going to swing out again. Okay. Boomski. So now um, I got I will five block at your you. reclusive artificer with my Sylvan Advocate. Okay. All right. Anything else? Nope. Okay. So you take three damage. Wonderful. I will end my turn. Awesome. Hmm. That is rather nice. Hmm. All right, so I'm going to spend four, one, two, three, four, in order to cast the Wild Heart Invoker. Oh, because of Ivy Link uh, De- Denizen, my, I- my Wild Heart Invoker comes into play with an additional 1-1 one, one counter on it. Nice. Okay, and then I'm going to spend... Do I actually want to... Uh... You know what? No, I don't want to. I don't want to. I'm going to tap my Elvish Branch Bender to have m- this forest come into play as a 7-7. Seven, seven. No, 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 no. It's It was already on the battlefield. It does not get a plus one, plus one counter. That is true, but now I have seven elves. Okay. I have a 1-2 mm. that can block it. Mm, yes, you do. Um, And I'm going to swing... With my Sylvan Advocate and my uh, Seven Seven Forest. Oh, gotta go into my attack step. Um, yeah, I think. 
Yeah, I think that'll be it. So how much damage? Uh, nine. You're two two. You're two three with vigilance and a seven seven. I'm gonna block your seven seven with my one two Ethereum sculptor. Okay. So my Ethereum sculptor dies, and I take two damage. All right Boom. then. Um, and with that, uh, I'll end. Okay. Well, now.